guys hello my dear students heartily welcome to that coding bro now if you are a student who want success in your life or who want to succeed in your life then this video is for you and if you are a person who is a continuous learner or a self learner or if you have any problems in your studies then this is a very useful video for you so please don't skip the video watch until last i will tell you the best qualities not the best the top most the five qualities of a student as described in our sas thrust please watch this video now i will give you going to start this video now the video is five best qualities or five qualities of a student as described in our sas thrust first thing before going to that we need to learn the shloka as provided by our saints the great saints the shloka is kak chestha bako dhyanam swayam nidra tatvayu tatva cha alpahari grithyagi vidyardi panchalakshanam vidyardi means first of all in english the student who learns the student is known as vidyardi in sanskrit vidyardi in vidyardi vidya means knowledge and arthi means one who desires knowledge a person who desires knowledge is known as vidyarthi see how great the definition it is now i think many of the people not got anything from that shloka i will explain the each part of the shloka there are totally five stories are included in that uh, shlokam now i will explain those five characteristics these are the five characteristics that all students should possess pancha lakshanam means five habits these five characteristics these five characteristics futures or qualities anyhow first one see i will speak the words after that i will explain the each story from this once i am once again i am reading the shloka kak chestha bako dhyanam swayam nidra tathaiva cha alpahari grityagi vidyardi pancha lakshanam this is the shloka if you want to read once once read, go back to the video and read it read with me so that you will get okay now coming to the meaning of this shloka first word what is the first word kaka chesta means the english meaning is the efforts of a crow means now i am explaining this line kaka chesta all of us in your in our childhood have read the story of a crow where there is a crow it was thirsty and it want some water finally it will find a pot of water but the water is very low very bottom and the crow can drink only if the water comes to the neck neck of the pot right so that the crow will get a brilliant idea what is that it will start look arounding sorry it will start looking around and start picking up the small tiny pebbles and putting inside the pot pebble by pebble pebble by pebble pebble by pebble if it keeps the water level rises as the pebbles increase the crow kept working hard working hard until the level of water rose up until the bottle neck of sorry neck of the pot and the crow drank the water this is the story if you any of you don't know this is the story from this what we need to learn kakachesta referred to the patience hard work and the efforts of the crow if we have to work on our lives and truly bring what is within inside we have to go through some painful sharpening of kakachesta means hard working and don't then say i can't do work hard like that once you fix work hard you will achieve success in real life first you need to work hard working hard is the only way to achieve success okay this is the story of first two words kakachesta next coming to the next two words bako dhyanam bako dhyanam means the focus of a crane to understand this i will tell you the small story the intense focus of the crane can be seen when one looks at the crane standing on one leg completely focused on the water means assume a crane crane is standing inside water on the water with one leg the crane will allow the tiny and small fishes to swim around it because it is not satisfied with them so it will focus and it will wait for the big fish to come until its premises until the big fish comes it will wait 
slowly calmly it will wait if the crane settles with the small fish like if it is a tiny fish if the crane was eaten that fish it will get hunger again or it will lose a big fish and if the crane wants the big fish it will have to pass the small fish it is the theory if the crane wants the big fish it will have to pass by the small fish similarly in your life when we want to focus on what is important what is important for us we should allow the small things to pass by and should not be distracted by the little things sometimes there may be some interpersonal issues and conflicts or health crises and financial crises so many things may happen in your life but keep let them happen pass by and focus on what is important for you okay this is a lesson which we need to learn from the train now coming to next word swayam nidra means the alertness of a dog swayam nidra means swayam means dog and nidra means sleep totally the sleeping of a dog from what from this what we can learn have you got any doubt i will clear the swayam nidra means the sleeping of a dog to be more precise the alertness of a dog all of us have actually seen when a dog is sleeping although it will close its eyes the dog will be on alert like even if there is a slight disturbance or little sound in the surroundings it will immediately open its eyes all those who want to gain knowledge in life and pursue something meaningful in life have to practice alertness although we may not close our eyes but not doing nothing literally but being doing what we will be doing in life we should not miss out to be on alert to the world around us means we should not be like a sleepy guy who will not notice any things around us for example you may have missed the opportunity like an exam notification because due to alertness you may have missed one god blessings like uh, like how can we say any of your god passed away in your roads or streets like that or if you have missed some opportunities like that to does not miss those opportunities we should be always alert to the world around us there is a lot of people from the people there is a lot to learn from the people objects from situations and surroundings and we will only learn when we are alert this is the story which i want to say always be alert like a dog first what do hard work like a crow focus like a crane sleep like a dog now next alpahari alpahari means ahar means food and alpa means less food less means take less food but don't think biryani dinner lunch tiffin i am not telling to those i am telling alpahari means a, vid- a vidyarthi or one who seeking for knowledge na it is implied to food means sensory organs like what are the sensory organs we have eyes skin to touch mouth nose ear these are the five sensory organs we have we should take less intake less intake of those sensory organs means we need to hear less nonsense sounds we should not hear those next we should not see nonsense like unnecessary things like uh, watching movies uh, tv uh, watching movie tv like dancing on roads we should not decrease those and nose means we should take intake of less of very very different scents perfumes like that mouth means we should not uh, focus on eating different tastes and from this whatever input we give to our senses actually goes and makes a deep impression on your inner system by that a person loses their focus so to decrease those chances we will take less intake this is the uh, this is the thing what they want to convey by that line what is that alpahari taking less intake okay this is the meaning of this line now coming to the last but not least grahatyagi griha means home tyagi means one who lives means living the home a vidyarthi should have a open mind to explore the world leaving his comfort zone intuitively one 
should explore his mind and discover himself when he will discover himself when he leaves the comfort zone for a person his home is the best comfort zone so that they will tell that leave or try to be away from your home as much as possible developing these above qualities is not limited to only people who are studying in schools or colleges but also for the people who want to develop their inner skills realizing self esteem all those people should foster this qualities okay this is the thing i want to convey to you because i found it helpful and i will follow these techniques while i am while i want to learn something new or while i fixed something like if you want to crack a exam follow these five techniques if you doesn't crack this exam then you have did some mistake 100% if you follow these five techniques you will crack anything if you have aiming for cracking an exam or passing an interview everything think write your aim on a, on a wall like that and write this shloka every day morning once before sleeping once read this shloka it will remember and it will train your brain to do follow by that one can achieve success or whatever the thing they want and these are the five qualities of a student are described in our sastras if you have any doubts please ping me in comment if you found it is helpful tell one big thanks to me in comments by that i will feel happy and i will make one more video like this a motivational video okay thank you for watching goodbye